Tim Trevathan here with Tim Trevathan Homes, powered by VPR, and we are here at this house in Swanee, Georgia, about to take a look. You guys come follow me, and don't forget to subscribe. So I'm here on this beautiful sunny day and uh, this, is, this is the uh, neighborhood behind me. Just wanted to give you guys a little snapshot of what you can see around the house. All right, and this is the house that we're about to go in. So here we go. What's up you guys, this is Tim Trevathan and I'm here in the interior of the house and I hope you guys enjoyed the little tour that I just gave you guys. I did want to show you this house particularly because actually the condition of the property is not that great. I don't know if you've noticed some of the walls that need to be painted in here. Um, but uh, I wanted to be able to do this video just to let you know that there are homes that are on the market for sale that aren't in the best of move and ready condition and even in certain price points as high as four, five, six hundred thousand. So this one being priced at $418,200. Uh, you can imagine that uh, for that kind of price point, you're gonna see at least a good school district and a move and ready house. This one you're getting more of the former, which is the good school district. And that's what's really driving up this price point uh, to be what it is. I imagine this house is gonna sell on the market a little bit longer than what we're used to seeing, which is offers that get accepted in less than a week. Uh, this one being a little bit longer because of the condition of the property. I'm thinking that the price will come down in the high 300s, uh, but they will find a buyer because of the market, the way that it's saturated with buyers versus the amount of inventory. Now, uh, just a little more information about this house. 
This house, uh, it's off of George Pierce Court here in Swanee, Georgia in Gwinnett County. And this is a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom house built in 1993. It's got 2,055 square feet. Again, the price of this is 418,200 North Gwinnett High School District. Now, this has a brick front, cement siding on the other three sides, which again is a typical exterior uh, design. And uh, one of the things that I like about this house, which you can see behind me, is that there's a, a high ceiling. I am six foot five. I'm a tall dude. I like high ceilings. <laughs> if it's any lower, it feels very congested for me. Now, you know, nine foot ceilings are, are good enough for me, but high ceilings have been magnificent. Yes, your electricity bill will probably be a little bit higher, especially in the summer because of the high ceilings. It has to push air conditioned air all throughout the entire house, uh, having to push it a little bit harder than uh, usual. However, again, you get this kind of curb appeal and the feeling of coming into an open house. As soon as you come in the entryway, you feel that openness. So with this house, you can see, and I'm gonna take you, come along with me. So you can see here in the kitchen, uh, what I would expect for this price point would be granite countertops we don't have in this one. So again, I wanted to show you kind of the opposite of what I've shown you in other videos, which you, so you can check out the other one that I've got where I've talked about what does 600,000 get you in Duluth, Georgia. That house was very much updated and renovated and well maintained by the homeowner. So definitely check that video out, don't forget. Now, back to this one, you can see that these are the original cabinets, the original countertops, these appliances, and uh, maybe a few years old. Um, this one's not stainless steel as far as the refrigerator goes, so you can kind of see um, what to expect. This is the washer and dryer unit, which is like right next to the kitchen, following the living room area. I do like the living room, it's pretty nice. Now, um, as far as just basic cleanup, they, they probably should have done some of it. Look at that, you got some spider webs there, oh my gosh. But anyway, um, again, this price is 418200 so this is kind of what you can expect. Um, although I would say that there are more move and ready homes in this price point and you'd usually find granite countertops. And if not that, at least a good amount of space and the school district being the best part about this entire place. Now, the good thing about this home is that it does have what I saw outside, a fenced in backyard. In Georgia, where I'm from in Alabama, uh, I thought that I would get big yards, but in Georgia, we don't really have that in every house. But the older homes built in the 1980s and 90s and sometimes 2000s, you end up getting bigger lot sizes like this one. So the plus with a 1993 built home like this is that you're gonna get a bigger yard. So lot sizes come bigger. Uh, however, you don't get the newness factor unless if they've done a lot of renovations, which again, this one has a lot of the original things. Now, one of the other things I wanted to point out in relation to the price is in relation to the entire county of Gwinnett, you can see that the average or rather the median sales price in Gwinnett County for a single family home is 356,938. So this home is priced a slightly above the median price that says two things, one about the house and what it has to offer, and two, as far as being in the city of Suwannee, the homes are a bit more sought after here than in other cities in Gwinnett County where the price points are lower. So keep that in mind. Now, the other thing is that in the past 180 days, so six months, we've seen 171 closed transactions of single family homes that have sold in this area. Okay, and this is just in the city of Swanee. And as far as the minimum number of days on market before a house goes under the contract, we've seen zero days. In other words, within hours of it hitting the FMLS system. And the longest before it ended up going under contract was 83 days. The average is 10 days. So I would say again, anticipating if this home was to continue to sell in the market. It's been on the market for four days that we would expect an offer to be accepted just within another six days if our average is 10. Um, also, the median, if you look at the median value, it's actually five days. So 
it's crazy hot here uh, as far as the, the demand. And another thing to point out is that the prices of the offers, the offer prices are over asking price by 109% for the average. So in other words, on average, you're seeing homes getting offers over asking price accepted for virtually everything almost and by 9% over. So again, this home, just wanna give you an idea that it's not all fancy and sunshine and peaches and cream, whatever kind of idiom you wanna use. Um, but it does have some new light fixtures. It's got the backyard. It's got the space and it's got the school district. However, some of the things it doesn't have, again, is not an updated kitchen or bathrooms and uh, it needs a little bit sprucing up with just some professional home cleaning. And it's got a steep driveway. And that's usually one of the biggest uh, turnoffs for my buyers that I've worked with over the years. They don't wanna have that steep incline for a driveway. So anyway, this is Tim Trevathan, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you're looking for more videos like this, check out the one I've got on in Duluth, Georgia. What does 600,000 get you in Duluth, Georgia? Because that one is definitely going to show you an updated house with a lot of amenities and so forth. So be sure to subscribe and I'll see you again on the next one.